Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am showing you guys my foundation routine on the Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation. And I have been using this foundation for about a month now and I have really been enjoying it so much. One of you guys recommended this foundation to me and so I went and picked it up and I have been in love with it. Like it's such a beautiful dewy foundation. It's a great foundation to just take on the go. And I'll show you guys how I go about making this foundation look even more dewy and how to make it last all day long. With this Maybelline Dream Cushion Foundation, I wear the shade 10 Porcelain, which is the lightest shade in the range that they have. It's really like a moisturizing foundation. So if your skin is dry, I feel like this foundation would be really great for you. And it's also a really quick and convenient foundation. It just comes with a mirror up top and then you have like a little sponge and then the product is on the inside here where the sponge is at or the little cushion thing. So I don't normally use the little sponge that comes with this. I mean, you could, but what I like to do is I like to go in with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. The way that I like to use this sponge with this foundation is to just use the sponge dry and to not get it damp and it will give this foundation more coverage. I'll just go in, just like tap the sponge in with the foundation as you can see like it'll get on the sponge there and then I'll just dot or dab I guess I should say bounce <laughs> the sponge on my face to blend this foundation in and I hope that you can see like the coverage on this like it has really awesome coverage like I don't know if you can tell the difference from this side of my face to this side and it's just it gives such a nice luminous finish to it like this foundation looks really natural on the skin even though it has really great coverage to it. I just use the sponge just like I would if it was dampened. If you wanted this foundation to be a little more sheer you could go in with the dampened sponge. And I do find that this foundation is more long wearing than the L'Oreal Tree Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. I found that that foundation didn't really wear as long as this foundation does. I know I did a review in the past on that L'Oreal Tree Match Lumi foundation, but I've been in love with this Maybelline Cushion Foundation. One of you guys like told me to go pick this up and I'm so glad that I picked it up because like I said, I have been in love with it. And then after I have the foundation, you know, blended, then I'll go in with my concealer and I'm just going to be using the Wet n Wild Luminati Highlighting and Concealing Pen in the shade I Very Into You. And then I'm just going to use my Sigma foundation brush to blend this concealer in. You can also use your finger to blend that concealer in if you wanted to as well, but I just find that with a brush it just works a little better and it's a less messy. And then with this foundation you can set it with a powder, you know, if you have more oily skin and you're afraid that it might get a little too shiny on you. Um, sometimes I do set it with the powder, but lately I have been loving setting it with a makeup finishing spray. And the finishing spray will just help this foundation to like last, but at the same time keep that luminosity to it. And my favorite makeup setting spray of the moment is this new Milani Make It Last Makeup Setting Spray. This stuff is awesome. Like it makes your makeup last all day long. It helps it to look, you know, more luminous. I love the sprayer on this and it also has like a really nice scent to this um, setting spray. So I just missed that on. I am just in love with this foundation. It's such a good foundation when you want your skin to look really dewy. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys found this foundation routine helpful. If you do enjoy foundation routine videos, please give this video a thumbs up so I know to do more of these in the future. And I hope that you guys have an awesome day. Bye-bye.